Good morning and welcome in to Allen Athletics. I'm Kay Crenshaw. Glad to have you with me along for this Sunday morning's show. We've got some great guests on tap for you to talk everything you need to know about Yellow Jacket Athletics. First off, we're going to start out in the weight room with our Director of Strength and Conditioning, Therod Upty Group. Spring football is in full swing and he's conditioning these football players for what he believes to be a championship season coming up. But he'll also share his experiences on working with the United States military and the differences in training soldiers and student athletes. And then later on, we'll sit down with Yellow Jacket softball coach Kayla Robinson as her first year comes to a close. What has she learned in her first time as a head coach here at Allen and with senior day just a few games away? What will she miss most? about her five graduating Yellow Jackets. All that more coming up right here on Allen Athletics. Founders Federal Credit Union, we know success is a team effort. We're always cheering for you, side by side, so you can dream big and achieve your goals. Offering products and services that put you in the lead, whether that's helping you buy a car, build your savings, or supporting your community. We're here with the financial support you need. That's teamwork. Score big with Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders. searching for achievements authenticity and experience that helps to uncover the real you it's your turn to be discovered to be polished to shine allen university where hidden gems are revealed Welcome back into Allen Athletics. I'm Kate Crenshaw, now joined by our Director of Strength and Conditioning, Theron Uptegroove. Coach, thanks so much for sitting down with us. Your first time on the program. Well, as we're coming towards the end of the spring semester, how's your first year with the Yellow Jackets been? Man, it's been a great uh, first year, honestly. Um, you know, just getting to know everybody, um, getting to the environment, knowing the athletes, coaching them, getting the culture of Allen. It's been a great experience so far. Glad to be back in South Carolina, where I'm originally from. So it's been all good for me, sir. You're an Orangeburg native, grew up just about 30, 45 minutes down the road. So this was a sort of coming home move for you. What went into the decision to come here to Allen University back in your home state? So uh, honestly, man, I was far away in Mississippi, you know, about 10 hours away from South Carolina. Um, Mississippi is a little bit more rural than South Carolina. So, you know, it was a different change of scenery for me, a different environment, different people, a lot of people I didn't know. So, you know, um, I got the opportunity to come back home to South Carolina and, you know, make a difference at another school, you know, be closer to home, you know, see things that I've already seen, probably impact some athletes I already impacted before, even in high school, you know, things of that nature. Just wanting to be back in South Carolina to make a difference here. Had a chance to come work with some people that I know. It was a good opportunity for me, a good opportunity for my family. So, you know, I took upon myself to come on back home to South Carolina. 
Well, Coach Updegrew is now training and conditioning our student athletes, but that wasn't always the case. You also worked with the United States Army and the infantry up at Fort Bragg. What was it like and what's the big difference between, you know, training a football or a softball player and training a soldier? Oh man, it's a big, big difference. <laughs> so, um, you know, and when you have the frame of an athlete, you think of, you know, sprint, uh, jump. Um, you think of they may have to push someone or something like that. The military is totally different. You have to carry, you have to drag, you have to be able to climb, you have to be able to pull yourself up a rope, many different things that sports doesn't require you to do. So in the, in the essence of it, you know, I had to change my whole way of thinking, my mindset changed. So when I first arrived, I'm thinking like, okay, I can train these guys just how I train, you know, pretty much any other athlete, mix it in here and there, because uh, they pretty much use all energy systems, you know, kind of a little bit of science behind the thing. But initially, I was just like, okay, let me do what I do. And, you know, it just didn't work out. Soldiers wasn't adapting to it. They just felt like, you know, we came in and tried to change their way of training. Like we were, like they were football players, or basketball players, or whatever type of athletes. So, you know, you run into challenges like, um, relinquishing power of giving us the power to program for guys. They think that they know what's best because they do it. Honestly, I understand, you know, but for us, it was like, uh, we know our job. We know the science behind what we do. And we, we're gonna execute it to the fullest ability. Just put the trust in this and allow us to actually help you all get better. Like in the army, the injury rate is through the roof. So we try to help with that. That's the reason they brought us in. When we actually helped train the soldiers to get certified to be strength coaches so that we wouldn't be as much of a need. But you know, it's still, it's still been a battle. It's a pilot program. So, you know, it's still trying to take off and it's a little rough, but it was a great experience for me. Honestly, I learned that, you know, I learned some weaknesses, some strengths, learned how to do different things for a different population and things of that nature, so. Well, speaking of taking off, you told me earlier you worked with an airborne unit and you were training them how to not get injured when jumping out of planes. Now, to me, that seems like an inherent <laughs> risk, right? Jumping out of a plane, yes, there's, there's a rate of injury involved in there. Right. So for those of us who don't know, how can we jump out of an airplane and not get hurt? So, okay, um, I'm, not, I'm not an Army guy. I've never been in the Army. I've contracted for them, okay? But so what they do is um, when they're in the plane, they're all, there's hooks connected to the lining of the airplane. So everybody's sitting in there hooked with their parachute. So the parachute's already pretty much, everybody's connected already, and they're pretty much just waiting to jump. So once they, you'll see the plane just come across the sky. And once the plane comes across, the door opens, and you just see guys, you know, jumping out, jumping out. It's not mainly the jumping out part, it's the part of landing. So when guys tend to land as an athlete or a person in human life, we tend to buckle our knees when we land, or just you no know, brace for impact. They cannot do that. You're falling from thousands of feet in the air, and you're thinking that you're just gonna land on your feet. No, it's not gonna work. You can break your knees, ankles. You could possibly get your shin shot through your knee. Anything crazy can happen. So what you wanna do is actually, you wanna you know, brace for impact, but as soon as your feet hit the ground, tuck and roll. Just tuck and roll. You don't wanna try to stick the landing. It will never work for you. <laughs> it's not safe, so I wouldn't recommend trying it at all. <laughs> I think that's a safe recommendation. <laughs> Try to avoid jumping out of all planes as best as possible. Well, let's go from the Army back here to Allen University. We're in the spring semester. Spring football is in full swing. The spring game coming up on April 15th. Hope to see you all there. But as the football players return back to the practice field and return back to your weight room, what is it like right now? What's the environment around the football team? And especially for you, what's their training regimen? Man, it's very high energy. Uh, it's a very, very unique mindset of our guys. You know, family oriented, you know, they really work hard. They've been crushing it in the weight room, crushing it on the field. Every morning, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., they're in here and we're getting after it. You know, we, we're ripping their tails apart. But for the most part, man, um, for me, the training regimen has been, we've been going about two to three days a week, you know, you know, simple total body things, you know, a lot of power cleans, uh, bench press, squat, you know, small muscle groups. You know, we do a lot of things like TKEs, ankle flexion and extension. Um, you know, just a lot of different things to keep these guys healthy, but get them strong as possible in the short amount of time that we have. And these guys have been killing it, man. When I say killing it, uh, I'm very excited to see what they do this spring, this fall. I really, championship year for us, championship year for sure. Well, May 1st, 2022, you stepped onto the campus here at Allen University. You're approaching that one year anniversary and you head into your second season leading all of our strength and conditioning programs here. What are some lessons you've learned and changes you look to make? 
So f some things I really learned is honestly, you know, how to coach a different athletes. You know, every athlete comes from a different background. And um, on certain certain levels of, you know, athletics, you get different kids. And uh, honestly, you know, we take care of our kids at Allen. You know, at bigger schools, you don't get to really, you don't see coaches really build that relationship with these guys. And here you actually get to build a relationship with your athletes. You get to know, get to know them on a personal level, know their background, get to know their day-to-day -day personality, what, tri uh, what triggers them, what doesn't trigger them, you know, that type of thing. So that's one of the biggest things I've learned, you know, being versatile in how I coach my athletes and how to adapt to them. And um, that's really been taking me a long way. So I've been running with that. And um, what was the other question? Just what changes you might want to make in okay. year two. Oh yeah, so any changes I would make, you know, um, honestly, Allen has a lot more than a lot of schools I've seen. A lot of people may think, you know, Allen doesn't have this, Allen doesn't have that, but it's what they see from the outside not being actually working here. Be me that I'm being on campus and see what's here and how it actually runs. It's a well-oiled machine and um, honestly, I don't think I would change too much about the university. Uh, I like it, you know, the kids like it, you know, the kids run it and, and essentially the kids make the university what it is. So we allow them to, you know, have their fun and we kind of, you know, trickle along with them. When you don't have the whistle hanging around your neck, what's the free time look like for you? Oh man, free time, uh, I like to watch a lot of videos just to perfect uh, different things in life that I'm interested in. It may be workouts, it may be uh, some football stuff, it could be honestly, you know, cars, anything like that, you know, something that just enters my mind. I like to go read up on it, listen to videos about it. I work out in my free time, play a little bit of video games, I'm kind of getting away from it. Honestly, I'm growing out of it, just getting older, working longer days. So. Video games been kind of out of the way, and uh, you know, just maintaining family time, trying to maintain that family life balance. Uh, spend a lot of time at home with my family, just because you know, with football and stuff, we travel so much. You are away from home so much, so I try to get them as much time as possible. He's Theron Upty Grew. I'm Kay Crenshaw. Coach Upty Grew leads all of our head strength and conditioning programs here at Allen University. Coach, a great job in year one. Looking forward to year two. Thank you. Yes, sir. Looking forward to year two as well. We'll be back for more after this. Founders Federal Credit Union, we know success is a team effort. We're always cheering for you, side by side, so you can dream big and achieve your goals. Offering products and services that put you in the lead, whether that's helping you buy a car, build your savings, or supporting your community. We're here with the financial support you need. That's teamwork. Score big with Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders. At Allen, discover the things you've been searching for. Achievements, authenticity, and experience that helps to uncover the real you. It's your turn to be discovered, to be polished, to shine. Allen University, where hidden gems are revealed.
Welcome back into Allen Athletics. I am Kay Crenshaw, now joined by our head softball coach, Kayla Robinson. Coach, thanks for joining us yeah, again thank this you for week. Having me. Well, since the last time we talked to you last Sunday, what's life been like for you in the last seven days? Um, honestly, we've had a few off days, so I have definitely been taking advantage of that. Um, we actually get started up with practice tomorrow um, to prepare for our weekend games. Um, actually, we just got off of spring break, though, so with that break was a lot of games and a lot of time spent with the girls. Um, so, of course, we all got to get to know each other a little bit more, got to bond a lot throughout the past week and, um, and get some game action in, too. So it's been a pretty good past few days a little hectic a little chill just a lot of healthy balance <laughs> when you have that downtime mm -hmm. what are the hobbies what do you try to fill your free mm -hmm. time with let me tell you i love to find me a show on either netflix or hulu and i am binge watching all day <laughs> i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i will binge watch um you know i do like to kind of draw and be a little creative and make content here and there. So sometimes I try to fill those gaps with like a little bit of content creating. Um, but other than that, when I say I take advantage of those off days and do nothing, <laughs> I take advantage of those off days and do nothing. <laughs> so what's been the latest show you've binged? What's some of the ones we might know? Oh, okay. So I just, well, okay. I'm watching Snowfall. I don't know if you watched that, but they're on the sixth season and it's going really good. Um, I just finished watching the second season of BMF. Um, I've watched Grownish, and I like a lot of cooking shows. I'm not going to lie. So I've been binge watching a lot of like Master Chef and Next Level Chef. I don't know what Gordon Ramsay has over me right now, <laughs> but I love watching his shows so far. So now, have you applied any of what you've learned there into your own kitchen? Are you making these five course meals? A little bit, a okay. little bit. I'm not going to lie. I tried to watch it to be like, you know what? Let me spice up my dinners here and there because <laughs> I keep making the same thing sometimes. So I'm like, yeah, let me get a few ideas. So I'm not going to lie. I'm not like five star you know three star michelin chef or anything but i try to whip it up in the kitchen a little bit softball coach top chef in the making <laughs> it's an it's an equal balance right, like you right. said well coach you're past the midway point in your first season here at allen university and of course the record's not what you wanted it to mm -hmm. be but as you look back on these last few months and mm -hmm. your first team as a head coach what are some of the lessons you've learned Oh, okay. So I've definitely um, really learned a lot about myself and what I expect as a coach. Um, coming in, of course, the whole team was inherited. Um, I only was able to bring in two young ladies to add on to the roster. Um, so I've learned definitely a lot of patience um, just because I have a mix of girls that do play softball and some it's their first time actually coming out there. Um, so I've learned a lot of patience. I've really learned what I'm willing to accept and not accept as a head coach, um, whether that's with the way I do my discipline, the structure of everything, um, you know, how practices are run and things like that. Um, but this experience definitely made me humble myself because I wanted to come in all gas, no brakes. Like I wanted to hit the ground running. And, you know, once I met my group, it was like, you got to adjust. And I think maybe that's like the young coach in me. Like I was like, I'm ready to go, 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 go. But they really taught me how to really slow down and really understand like, what am I trying to get out of this practice today? What am I trying to teach them? Because I have had to teach them some things that I haven't had to teach in a while. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so it's definitely been a very unique experience. Um, and I tell my assistant all the time, this is my trial and error year. So some stuff is going to work very well and some stuff it's going to fail completely. And I just have to be okay with that and learn how to accept it and just moving into, you know, the future practices and games and even next season, knowing how I want to do things differently. So. Well, anytime someone steps into a new head coaching position, mm -hmm. you lean on veteran leadership mm -hmm. that's already a part of the program. You've got five seniors that are going to mm -hmm. walk across that field coming up on senior day in a few weeks. Clearly, it makes you a little sad. Yeah. I know you're going <laughs> to miss them, but what have they meant to you here in year one? Oh, they have meant a lot. Um, honestly, when I first started, like they were the first ones to come to my office and be like, Hey coach, you know, I'm Chana Davis, I'm Brianna Spencer, I'm Deshaunna Beckham Timmons, and you know, I'm a senior and do you need help with anything? Like, well, this is like, especially when it came to equipment and stuff, when I got here, I'm like, you know, what do you have that you took home that you didn't keep here? And you know, it's like, oh, well, we had this, that, and the third. Okay, well, 
Well, and I actually got a lot of things from them as far as like, what do you think worked last year in practice and what didn't? Um, what do you, what kind of changes do you want to see? Um, so they've been very helpful. They've been very vocal. Um, and they've actually grown a lot as leaders. Some of them, I'm not going to lie, even though that they're seniors, a couple of them kind of shied away from that leadership role. But I kept telling them, like, you have those qualities. Like, just step into it and own it. And they have done a really good job helping carry this team through this season. So, honestly, if we didn't have those seniors, um, a lot of things would have probably went very differently because we needed that player leadership. Because, I mean, of course I'm here and my assistant's here, but we need y'all to be vocal too. So... It's been good. Well, you've got about a month left in the regular mm -hmm. season. Aside from wins, what are some things you're hoping to accomplish? Um, honestly, of course I'm hoping to get a couple more wins, but my thing for this group is just, just to make sure that they've actually learned something from this season. Like, I don't want them to get to the end of the season and feel like they didn't grow as a softball player, grow as a young lady, um, or grow as a professional as well, because I try to get them that professional development experience that they need through their careers and things like their future careers and things like that. Um, so it's been it's been good, and I don't know. I just want to end on a high note, honestly. Like I know we've been losing a lot, but I would like to end the season with a few more wins, and they deserve that. You know, they're they're a good group of girls, and that's really our focus, just trying to make sure that they leave with more than one win and really more than two wins because I know they only had two last year. So we're trying to leave with at least about three, four, five, six, you know. <laughs> we, well, got a good, we got a good few games left. So And it's a good weekend to start it. Mm -hmm. Allen travels down to Georgia to take on Fort Valley State. You coach, you, you play the Wildcats three times. I think you should come away with three wins, right? Yes. That's the plan. Three of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate all of you tuning in this morning here on Watch Fox 57 and following along with Allen softball all season long. She's Kayla Robinson. I'm Kay Crenshaw. We'll be back with more. Founders Federal Credit Union, we know success is a team effort. We're always cheering for you, side by side, so you can dream big and achieve your goals. Offering products and services that put you in the lead, whether that's helping you buy a car, build your savings, or supporting your community. We're here with the financial support you need. That's teamwork. Score big with Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders. At Allen, discover the things you've been searching for. Achievements, authenticity, and experience that helps to uncover the real you. It's your turn to be discovered, to be polished, to shine. Allen University, where hidden gems are revealed. Back here on Allen Athletics, and we want to remind you that the Allen football spring game is coming up on Saturday, April 15th. And to get you ready for this year's 2023 Allen Yellow Jackets, let's take a look back to last season as here's a recap of Allen's game against Johnson C. Smith. Yeah! <laughs> 
While the officials come far, I want to remind you, fans, you can do your part. Welcome back to Allen Athletics and we're closing things out here on this Sunday morning. We appreciate each and every one of you for being along with us here on Watch Fox 57. We do want to remind you about Yellow Jacket Fest coming up. That's in two weeks, Saturday, April the 15th. You don't want to miss it. Everything you wanted to know about Allen University will be on tap. Admissions tours, basketball tryouts, softball is in action, a cookout barbecue, the band of gold playing their beautiful music, a soccer camp, and also the football spring game is one of the many, many headliners on what is going to be a great day at Allen University. Most things taking place here on campus. The football game will take place at Westwood High School. That's 180 Turkey Farm Road out in Blythewood. For more information on any and all of these events, please check out our website. That's auyellowjackets.com. Again, auyellowjackets.com where you can get all the information you need to know about Yellow Jacket Fest coming up on Saturday, April 15th. We appreciate all of you being with us on this Sunday morning. I'm Kate Grinchell, and as always, remember to smile.